We're following a new development in the case against Casey Anthony. New documents were just released and they give new insight into the private investigator once hired by the Anthony family and what he told investigators. Channel 9's Kathy Bellage is live in Orlando with the latest on these new documents. Kathy? Right, it's an 80-page document. It was released just about, uh, just before 12 today. I've gotten through some of it, not all of it at this point. Now, the Anthony family's private eye, Dominic Casey, gave conflicting statements in January to investigators under oath about what he was doing at the scene where Kaylee Marie Anthony's remains were found a month before they were found. And he was being represented at the time by the Anthony family's attorney. Now, the Anthony's private investigator, Dominic Casey, first told investigators what he first told Channel nine that he had gone to the scene on November 15th merely to determine whether it was a teen hangout as one of Casey's old friends had said. But Dominic Casey could not explain what relevance that would have had since it had been years since Casey was a teenager. Then Dominic Casey said he got a call from a psychic the same morning he had already planned to go there that Kaylee's remains were in the woods in that area. He also gave conflicting reports as to who he was talking to on the phone in that videotape. First, it was a psychic. Then when he was asked about talking to his sick daughter, which is what he first told Channel 9, he added his daughter to the list of people he was talking to on the phone at the scene. He also told investigators he went to a house nearby based on the psychic's tip to look in the culvert, but the videotape does not show him at the culvert. It shows him digging and poking around right next to the house. Now, Cindy, also, we just learned yesterday through the new documents that were released, told investigators she had sent someone to the scene a month before Kaylee's remains were found there. She did not tell them at that time who it was that she had sent. Now, the Anthony's private eye also told investigators under oath he didn't realize he was being videotaped, even though at some point it looks like it was pretty uh, the camera was pretty close to him. Uh, Mr. Casey called the person, the other private eye who shot that videotape, his name is Jim Hoover, called him a sneaky devil. Now, as I said, it's an 80-page document. We'll have much more coming up on this. There was a second interview with the private eye that was done subsequent to this, and the judge has not decided whether to release that statement as of yet. Reporting live in Orange County, Kathy Bellich, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.